Okay. I think there are three main reasons people don't go in pursuit of healing. One, they don't know the benefit of it. Two, they don't know how to go about it. And three, they enjoy the attention that their brokenness brings to them. Well, let's be nice. Yeah. Let's be nice. We don't have to go there. <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong, but you didn't have to say it. I mean, I want to jump right into this video today and kind of bring out some benefits that comes with you taking the time to heal. And I came up with a little bit of an acronym for heal on my own. You know, I take, I take credit for that. What do you gain from that? So this little acronym I came up with for HEAL stands for helping yourself evolve and adapt so that you can love again or love better. The reality when it comes down to healing is that no one can do it for you. And you have to recognize that there are things in your life that have hurt you to the point that it has allowed you functioning in a holistic way to become a little bit more difficult. So it can affect your mental, emotional, spiritual. And I'm, I'm not talking about just breakups because when people talk about the need for healing, it's usually around the idea of you go through a heartbreak or something, which is pretty common. But sometimes it may mean childhood trauma, difficult situations in your family that has hurt you severely or even just a friendship because you can be hurt severely severely by friends as well you know and honestly sometimes some people will definitely even admit that they have been hurt by people that they call friends even worse than than heartbreak so they, what they say friendship breakups are worse than relationship breakups but you get the point so just remember that acronym writing out somewhere helping yourself evolve and adapt so that you can love again or love better so the, the aspect of helping yourself we have to recognize that we have a part to play in this healing process it's not something that's gonna happen overnight there are some wounds that you have to ensure that you, you clean them before you put on a dressing and stuff like that on them else it's gonna be, become infected and then grow into something worse than what it actually was you have to make the efforts in in cleaning out those areas of hurt that might mean you have to sit in front of a therapist a professional or sit with someone that you can trust just to talk about how you feel talk about the things that hurt you work through the feelings that you are feeling right now how they make you feel our temptation is to immediately shut down and bottle up a lot of the stuff that we have and it it doesn't help it really doesn't help guys and there's a temptation in becoming bitter towards the person that that hurt us bitterness is you drinking poison and then expecting the other person to die and it won't happen because you're just driving yourself further down into into that ditch of despair so help yourself then evolve it has to do with the idea of you growing growing beyond the things that hurt you and sometimes growth requires separation so you have to put some distance between yourself and the things that hurt you delete the number block the person if you need to so that you can have some time to focus on yourself sure there might be a time where you might grow to the place where you can still have conversations or even develop another healthy friendship with that person that hurt you that that was the case with that that girl i mentioned in one of my previous videos that said that she wasn't interest, really interested in me, but, but my brother, we're friends today. And that took a lot of internalization on my part as I was really hurt. And I mean, I had a right to, I had a right to be hurt, but I needed to grow to the place where I could let go and evolve beyond the thing that hurt me in that season. Then the next thing is also adapt. Adaptability, it's closely related to, to growth, but also it's like a step up. Whereas you know, with the experience that you have from being hurt by that thing or by that person, you now have context now that can help you to be a, a bit more cautious and be more aware and look out for red flags when they come up. You, you won't be as naive because sometimes when you are in love, you know, it's like you're mostly loving with your heart and we kind of leave our brains behind. But when we are hurt in relationships, I think it, it helps us to be a lot more sober-minded. Sometimes it pushes us to be a bit too cautious sometimes, whereas we have so many walls, we don't even allow ourselves the opportunity to be open enough to love again. And then that leads to the L, which is to love again. Or in this case, for, for your situation, it might be to love better. But even before we go into that, it's it's so important for you to re recognize the value of giving yourself time. 
I've seen way too often where people just go through a breakup probably one month, one month ago. I mean, wicked breakup. Like, you have been dating this person for years. And one month later, you're in another relationship that cannot be healthy. Healing for me is helping yourself evolve and adapt so that you can love again or love better. I think we are all wired in a way that we desire to love and to also be loved because we need we need companionship we need friendship but i think when we spend the time to heal to give ourselves the opportunity to heal and to process the things that hurt us it will put us in a position to not only love again but to also love better so thank you so much for watching this video if it was helpful for you let me know down in the comments drop a like on the video so that it can be sent out to other people consider subscribing to the channel and thank you so much for watching. See you guys in the next one. Peace.